Drinking too many drinks. Yeah, it's the 501, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we get down on the Whoopi podcast. Woo! Shout out OD, shout out G-Homes, it's the bad Big guy. sexy. Yo, welcome back to another episode of the Woo Pig Podcast coming to you live from the Insurance Max Studios, where we talk about everything Arkansas, Razorback football, and basketball every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Also, man, check us out on the website at thewoopig.com. I want you to experience peace of mind with Insurance Max, your one-stop solution for home, auto, and commercial insurance statewide. Don't wait, call today for a free, no obligation quote. Secure your future with Insurance Max, where protection meets affordability. Dial now and safeguard what is ma- what matters most. Holler at my guys, Caleb, Wes, and Sandy. They're going to take good care of you over there. Let them know you heard it on the Woo Pig podcast. And you know we stream it on all major platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. Make sure yeah. you subscribe to us on all our platforms. And if you enjoy the audio version only, we everywhere, including Apple Podcasts, but we rock with Spotify because you can switch between audio and video over there. Make sure you check us out and run that up. And we can't forget about our OG <coughs> sponsor, 3M Electric, serving Northwest Arkansas. They're your trusted commercial and residential con- electrical contractor. As a SDV OSB, they're dependable and reliable with no job too big or too small. When it comes to your electrical needs, contact 3M Electric, 479-408-9865, and let them know you heard it on the Woo Pig Podcast. They got something special for you, and you already know who I got in the building. (laughs) Yo, what it do, Woo Pig family? It's your boy, G. Holmes in the building, a.k.a. Big Sexy. Somebody out there holler for me. Mm, what it do, OD? Man, we watching these these uh great basketball Woo. games today, man. Man, we doing it, bro. It just sucks that the Hogs ain't playing. But man, we're gonna know, talk right? about the Hogs and watch the games. Yeah, uh, we tried to do both. Absolutely, man. And you already know who I got in the building with us. We got Woo Pig. What it do? Woo Pig family. It's the bad little brother. You know who it is, man. How y'all doing today, man? Y'all all right? Hey man, <laughs> angle the mic towards yourself, towards your mouth. No, he good, man. We he, we can hear him. Right. I hear him good. The bad little brother, but he just do bad little brother stuff all the time. He always <laughs> having to do something weird. He just everywhere, uh, all the really, time, man. man. You know, I gotta, you know, I gotta uh, make mama mad, <laughs> bro. Well, hey, down goes Goliath. Down goes Goliath. Oakland. Yep, they got a shooter. They got a shooter on no the team. They got a shooter. He busting their heads, no. man. It's no way. Yes, sir. They going down. Going down. That boy, and then they got LaBamba out there. He beast molding them boys out there. That's crazy. Man. Never expected that. Ooh, Messed, man. All my brackets are already destroyed. First day. You? <laughs> man, we got a super chat already, man. We got a shout out Woo Pig Double O, man. He like, what up, Woo Pig? What it do? Hey, hey, you know what it do, baby. We sitting here watching basketball, and we about to get into this hog segment, man. Thank you for supporting the channel. We appreciate you, man, man. 100%. Bro. Day one. That's the day one. Man, uh, Woo Pig double O, man. I looked at the, uh, you didn't get your picks in quick enough, bro. And so you ain't even in the challenge, man. I'm looking at you. Woo Pig double O picks zeros, man. You ain't get yours in, man. I don't know what happened to you, bro. I told you, you got to have it done by Thursday. Thursday hmm. at 11 o'clock. Well, don't worry about it, Woo Pig. 
I ain't playing either because guess what? I don't care because the hogs ain't playing. Oh, I mean, oh, it's sensitive, man. Like I that. told y'all. That dude right there, he he he's feeling some type of way. Man, what you say? Hey, Coach Box was supposed to be with us tonight, man, but he got his interface in, and guess what? <laughs> he was too <laughs> eager. He was too eager. He was too eager to get it on, and – he messed it up. I mean, he. I mean, he just. I mean, he did. I don't know, man. Coach Box. Hey, he, did he, he try to put the, it over back on? He didn't call the uh, Wu Pig uh, technical support line, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he had going on. He gets on. It was like, oh man, I can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why. <laughs> man, you know when you Facetime your grandpa, he'd be like, hold on, how you work this technology? Up? That's <laughs> hey, yeah. That's Coach Box. Box is, it, ain't, man, it, 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 it ain't plug and play. No, it ain't. Despite what, <laughs> despite not, what OD made simple. you believe, it's not plug and play. Well, to me, it's plug and play, man. It don't take that but long. But don't, don't tell other people that. Don't tell other people that. It's just not plug and play. <laughs> hey, man, tell R2, R2-D2 to call back in, man. We'll be ready for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> R2-D2. <laughs> but, man, let's get into this thing. Let's get into this, man. G, what's the skulls looking like on NCAA right now? Who winning, who losing, man? Let's get up to – let's bring everybody up to speed real quick. Well, just to be up to speed, the SEC – Super trash. Bro, we getting our <laughs> – boy, we getting our <laughs> issue today, man. Started out first game was 8-9 uh, Mississippi State and uh, Michigan State. Yeah, we got mm. thrashed by 18. That's an L for the SEC. Then you had Colorado, uh, uh, Colorado State – in Texas, 10-7 game. Texas won that game. Uh, then you had Nevada and Dayton. The uh they Dayton pulled it out by three, 60 to 63. The other SEC game, Oregon number 11, and South Carolina number six. We got blasted on them too. Lost by 14. Super trash. BYU, a 6-11 game. BYU 6, they lost 71 to 63. They made some bracket busters already. Only people really held serve was uh Illinois beat Moorhead State uh 85-69. Uh Creighton beat uh Acorn 77-60. Arizona beat Long Beach 85 to 65. North Carolina, the number one seed, took care of business against Wagner, 90-62. And then we just watched the end of this game. Kentucky, the number three seed out of the SEC, loses to Oakland by three, 79-76. Super trash. It's been some bracket busters already, but man. They are so, who we thought they were. Man, trying. they terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they are. So Dang. we got some games going on right now. Uh, Gonzaga and McNeese. Uh, it's about to be over. They it's really over. They up. Gonzaga is up uh, a thirty piece. And then the game that just kicked off Tennessee and St. Peter. And we expect, we hope that Tennessee win because that's who I got in my bracket going. I'm taking it all, man. I'm trying to keep it in the SEC, baby. We done with the nineties, man. Bro, them dudes here, is terrible. Man. Out of here. What? White boy Rick, just like you said, like Wes said, white boy Rick killed the University of Kentucky. He was busting their head. Man, that, that is boy the definition shoot, of a white boy Rick right there. That's that, how you why come we couldn't get him. Exactly. We, we got to go get. So, I don't even know That's who those dudes on the bench was. I can tell y'all of them on their name. They just big trash. <laughs> Bro. Big trash. I'm telling you. Like, yeah, anyway. Mm -mm. All my brackets busted for the record. All of them busted. <laughs> See, I just wanted to watch the games and enjoy them. I didn't want to be like, man, my bracket busted, man. Now I don't even care. The Hogs ain't playing. That's all I mm. care about. Bump the rest of these fools. I hope they all lose. All of them <laughs> in the SEC. I don't want to hear nobody in the SEC always. get bragging rights. All of them can die a slow death. I don't want to <laughs> see none of them win. That dude said, key yourself with a rusty nail, right? I want you, I, <laughs> Right before you take your last breath, I want you to get locked out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, man... Let's talk about it, man. Devo Davis oh. says he's done, man. He says he's going to he's going to explore the portal and professional opportunities. They ain't there. The professional opportunities in consist of Walmart corporate New office. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> 
Uh, who else up there? It, it, Hunt, J, J, uh, J. B. J. B. Hunt. J. B. Hunt. You can J. B. Hunt. They, they ready for chicken. you. You, he, you can be. He, uh, he, can pl- he can plug chicken. He can thing. be a chicken plugger at Tyson. <laughs> you can coordinate the trucks. You can be the supervisor that's uh, over the line that's taking the 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 uh, the, 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 the feathers off the chickens. Oh man, yeah. with the bloody boots. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Lindsay management. He could work for Jim Lindsay, man, managing some of them Lindsay properties up there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, Devo. If you listen to this, don't listen. Don't listen to them. You can go to China and be the sixth man of the year. Facts. <laughs> Boy, you Facts. Stop you can. That. Believe in yourself. Well, nah, man. I mean, let me ask y'all this though, man. What is your your biggest memory of Devo Davis, man? What's your your biggest good memory of Devo Davis? Mm. Well, I I would say this. For me, my my best some of my best Devo memories were of course the the great uh NCAA runs that we had, man. Uh you know, the, the emotion that he showed, you know, uh last year when we uh we won the big game again that was against Kansas wasn't it yep yeah against Kansas that was that was a big one you know <laughs> we've been struggling you know what I'm saying we've been struggling man that was everybody felt that man with Devo so I appreciate it for that and of course the nut dunk man that was that was awesome everybody you know uh would love that against you know the dude from Auburn man that was just that was a classic um super but he, uh, other than that, he just been really, I mean, just a, a steady player. And those are my most memorable good memories. But they have been quickly overshadowed by, you know, some of this recent stuff that, you know, they say it takes a lot of good marks, you know, to erase one bad one. And he has several bad ones this year, man. So, I mean, them good ones, they kind of disappearing, man, because – this is what we really see. Mm. Yep, yep. I, I I completely agree. All of those moments meant a lot to me. But you know, I um I feel like every since the football season ended and we had to watch this basketball team play, I kind of been saying the same thing. It's scary how much the basketball team and the football team had the same exact season. KJ True. leaving field just like Devo leaving. Devo f- leaving field just like KJ KJ leaving. It's just been a weird – they are the weirdest legends that I I think I've ever seen in Arkansas. Now, be it, I'm Super only 29. Giant. But think about it. KJ got all the records, so we got to call him a legend. It is what it is, no matter how we felt about this last season. Devo is an Arkansas legend. He done had some moments that a lot of us will remember for the rest of our lives. When Devo cried on camera, like you said, G, like, <laughs> I really – that's when I became I like, nah. It. This is our guy, for real. I, I felt yeah. that every part of my body. And I was in a room full of people. They all felt it. So they just the weirdest legends that we've ever had as Razorbacks. And then for them to finish out so bad to leave, it, it hurt. I'm going to keep it real. I mean, obviously, it don't hurt on the basketball, actual winning and losing side. But it hurt on the emotional side because we didn't want Devo to have this, this season. We didn't want him to tweet us and get into it with us at one time. with the you know, yeah, we, didn't we didn't want, want that. those things. Man, man, I, I had it, man. man so. I, and I really didn't even have to want to have to bring out the. Whoa, sweet thing. But you know, I, I mean, yeah, that's what we've sucking to. You feel me? So <laughs> yep. it is what it is. Man, let me read my uh, super chat, man. Shout out to Jeremiah, man, for supporting the channel, man. Yo, 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 Jeremiah. Yo. He said. Hey, that game against Florida in Florida in 2021 season. He that was a off. good game. He did. Yeah. He went off that, that game. But man, I I, I want to say, man, one of my favorite moments uh for the for Devo, and you I'm pretty sure you you mentioned this, uh, was was his most disrespectful moment. Just like unbiased said, oh you oh, OD so disrespectful. Is when he dunked on the on, on the old boy. Oh, the nut the dunk. Auburn, yeah. the, the nut yeah. dunk in the Auburn game. <laughs> yeah, that was that was nasty, nasty work. Hey, old boy was ready to fight. 
He was, he was ready, ready to fight. fight. And then the crowd ru- bar rushed the floor. Yeah, that was going to be a bad look for him. That was he a got lost bad in look. the sauce. <laughs> but he wanted to fight Devo. He did. Man, that was so funny, man. I was like, boy, that was the... I love that. Yeah. That was my my fa- one of my favorite moments, man. Like you, me bruh, too. That was I could watch that over and over. Yeah, and it, I don't, never get tired it, of it. And so I, I'm looking in the comments, man, and I'm I mean I'm seeing people saying that, you know, Devo ain't no legend. Coach Box, can we hear you? Can you hear us? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we don't. We, we don't hear you, but we hear cool. your game playing in the background too. I ain't I ain't got a game playing. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, your game is way too loud. Turn it down. What about now? It's still too loud. What about now? <laughs> it's getting better. I think it's, it's coming through your computer. <laughs> a little bit yeah. hotter now. Yeah. It's okay, man. We hey, can, we can we can make out what you're saying. You good? Yeah. Hey, we'll get it. We'll get it right. We'll get it right after this show. Oh no, that's too loud, bro. See? Yeah, that's too loud. That's too loud. Turn what? your game down where your mic is coming uh, through. If you're on. Yeah. Yeah, I just did. No, it ain't going down. No, it ain't. You, you what about now? No, no, it's not going down. We we can't be troubleshooting in the middle of the show. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe I just need to back up. Oh man, it's no, that ain't yeah. gonna work, bro. It's 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 like your gain is way loud. So that whatever that where your mic is going through, you got to turn it down. He dropped off. Did yeah, uh, I don't know what Boss got going on over there. <laughs> <laughs> No pole box. Oh, uh, I forgot what we was talking about now. Just Devo and him. Him. I was talking about Devo. I mean, memories. just the disrespectful dunk. And I and I. Oh, I, what I was saying was a lot of people in there talking about Devo ain't no legend. And I somewhat agree with them. You know what I'm saying? In order to be legend, you have to have legendary type things. You know what I'm saying? And I okay, yeah, I've seen a lot of people get dunked on. I've seen, I mean, I, I think that was a good dunk, but it wasn't better than that Michael Qualls dunk to win, in, in, you know, against Duke. It wasn't better than that. Agreed. You, you feel me? It was It was Agreed. not a better dunk than that. That was on somebody. You know what I'm saying? To win the game is tied up. You, you know, it wasn't better than that dunk. And so, yeah, yeah that, that don't make him a legend. And I've seen other people have bigger games than what he has and be more successful at it. So to call him a legend, eh, I'm not buying that. But a great player, yeah, I'm with it. He's a great player, man. He's He was a great hog. And shout out to you, Devo, man. I know we give you a hard time on the Woo Pig podcast, man, but we keep it real in the barbershop. And you know what I'm Got saying? When you to. out there doing crazy stuff. Yo, you get to smoke in the barbershop, man. You got to be willing to, you know, you know, you got to be willing to take it. You know, I, mean, I, I saw a stat today said that that said Devo's career average is 5.9 points a game. Super trash. When did we when did we start attaching the word legend to 5.9 points a game? DZ did that. Legend, Nick, boy, get out. I mean, you're right. You're right. Maybe I use the word legend a little loosely. But, Bro, you crazy. Uh, they just the weirdest memorable hogs. You gonna remember all those good memories we just had about Devo, and you also gonna remember the nails. So it's just weird. I don't. I don't know what to call it. It's not a legend. It's just a. It's something. Something. Something we won't forget. Good or bad. Yeah. yeah maybe. Maybe say that unforgettable. 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 Yeah, he has some unforget uh, some some yeah. moments, some unforgettable moments, man. I'll, I'll say that about Devo. <laughs> hey, shout out Wes Brown. He said DZ has watched a lot of bad basketball. Facts. <laughs> I have not. Yeah. I, I ain't see Ty Day. I didn't see Corliss. None of them. He did. He has watched. Oh, the paper player said so. Is Sweet Thing retired? Oh, we gonna have to attach it to somebody else to mean something else. You know what I'm saying? This guy. When you're play, when you're playing soft, if you're playing too soft, we're gonna have to find us a sweet thing on the uh on the on the football team. <laughs> Cause there's somebody gonna be boy H- Hudson Clark. No, no, no. <laughs> we we got we got one man. for him already. What's Hudson Clark? 
<laughs> yeah, we really don't. <laughs> hey, <laughs> gotta get hey, some we- hustle. But like you said, man, shout out to Devo, man. He probably yeah, shout will him always. He's going to be definitely a home that you will never forget. I will say yeah. that. 15 years That's from facts. now, we're going to be like, man, you remember when Devo put us on his back against Kansas? We're going to always, you know, always remember yeah. Devo, man. So hey, Forever. We're going we gonna to show you love, man. We, we yeah. Like I said, man, we just talk a lot of trash in the barbershop. That's what we do. No more smoke for Devo. Give him a 21 gun salute. <laughs> 21 guns to look, man. Devo, you done. done. Now. Yeah, we done. Landon Blocker, man. He said he Woo! done, done. You going to bring he my done. brother over here? I'm all right, then bet that up. He didn't say that. That's what I'm saying. He didn't yeah. say that. That's just, <laughs> that's just me talking. You ain't going to bring my brother? You ain't even going to recruit my brother? Man, I'm out of here. His brother, Cole, got some cold, cold, cold stuff out there. I'm out of here. So yeah. Landon Blocker said he hitting the portal. Layden Man. Blocker. Yeah. Hey, mm. what? I mean, this is another, just like what we were talking about on the last show. This is another Arkansas player that only stays on the hill for one, one year. One year. And get on down. He about so, to go somewhere and blast off. I don't know what I yeah. mean. This is the thing, right? I don't feel no type of way about Landon Blocker leaving because he wasn't able to show us nothing. But good defense. What Razorback player goes somewhere else and has a great career? I mean, we saw one today who dropped 25 in the NCAA tournament and couldn't get off the bench here in Arkansas. So, KK had a great year. Who? KK and the other Mitchell twin had a good year. Eula. Yeah, oh, yeah. lesser schools. Lesser schools. Come yeah. on now. Let's, yeah. let's, let's keep it a buck. It ain't it's SEC true. level. But old boy from BYU, Jackson Robinson, he dropped 25 today in various ways. He was busting. Um, but we ain't here to talk about them guys. We're here to talk about Landon Blocker, man. How how do you guys see this? I know I got my take on it, but what's y'all take on Landon Blocker? Layden, Layden, Landon, whatever the full name is. <laughs> I know they're gonna they say something. They are who we thought they were. Uh, anyway, what's your uh, take on it, Deez? So, I hate it. I'm going to keep it real. I really wanted him to develop some type of offense, and we could have seen a really complete player. I feel like for as far as defense goes, he ha- he was really ahead of his time defensively. He was right there. He reminded me of young Devo when Devo was the actual defensive guy that we thought he was. So, I hate that he leaving, but at the same time, you know, I don't see him. I see him going somewhere and going off if it's a smaller division. I don't see him. I honestly don't see him making a lot of remove anywhere in the SEC. So I'm not, I don't know. I don't think it's somebody that we're going to have to see again, like Rocket Sanders or something crazy. So, you know, Layton, I hope the best for you, dog. We uh, really rooted you on on the show. You was our Criswell of the basketball team. So, you know, do your thing. But I don't think he's going to be a threat for us, per se. And I hope I don't eat these words. Okay. G, what about you? Mm, I'm like you, man. I, I ain't really seen nothing. You know what I'm saying? I, I I really didn't get a chance to see him that much. So I was like, eh, you know what I mean? So I hate that he leaving because I do believe the dude had talent. Mm. But at the same time, I mean, what do you do? Mm. This, this is the, the, the sad part about college sports now. Portal gang. Y'all ever seen um, Game of Thrones? Oof. Loved it, except for the last season. You muted, G. So, yeah. I remember when I first started watching Game of Thrones, I'm like, who is, who is the guy that I want to root for in this show? Ned Stark. And, yeah, I thought Ned Ooh. Stark was going to be my dog. Right now. Yeah. And then next thing you know, 
Ned Stark got his head cut off. Well, I'm like, hold up. He was supposed to be my dog. It's just, it, it, what's going on? Oh, uh, gee, yeah, that's coming through, bro. And uh, I was like, man. Okay, so I got to find somebody else to root for. Who going to be my next dog? Then you know what? They got killed. And I'm like, everybody get killed on this show. You can't root for nobody. <laughs> yeah, nobody. <laughs> Literally. 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 Yeah, nobody. like, it, I don't think nobody made dies. it. Through. Y'all know who made it through the whole season. I mean, the whole. The little season. handicapped dude. The only dude who made it through the whole show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He Giant made Snow. it through. Yeah. I'm like, everybody else on the show, the, the, him and the. And the, the dude that that was his daddy, but it wasn't his mama. He didn't. Yeah, he made it through the whole show, but he was never the main. He was never like that dude. And that's how college sports is now. You can't mm-hmm. fall in love with these dudes. You can't be like, hey, that's my dude. Boy, he out of here. Like the Game of Thrones. Quick. He mm-hmm. on to the next one. So that's the sad part. Just think about if the portal existed back when we were back when we talked about Ty Day and Lee Mayberry and Oliver Miller and, and Corey oh, Beck yeah. and Big Nasty. All the legends. Them legends. If, if the portal mm. existed, the Alex Dillers, the, who else, man? Who else? Are, Clint McDaniel, Ron yeah. Heary, Clyde you know, Fletcher. All, all, <laughs> man, come on now. Ken Biley. You put him in there too. Ken Biley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's just saying. We would never have any heroes to look up to it in the Razorback uniform. This is a new yeah. age, and we got to adjust as fans to be like, yo, these are professional athletes at this point. They getting paid. They getting they paid. Getting paid, and we got to treat them as such. And the thing about it is, they, I mean, they're here today, gone today. You think about it. <laughs> Blocker came. And guess what, bro? He we really didn't get a chance to see him as such a heralded, you know, guy that we were getting, and we really yep. didn't get a chance to to see him. So at that point, we like, you know what, bro? I, like you say, I, I rooted for. I, I was always, you know, so happy to see when I was like, shoot, hey, Corey Beck got two years left. Ty, they got two years left. He got, you know, what I'm saying when they I, when he, they are freshmen. You was like, man, we gonna get four years of this. They wasn't, wasn't nobody leaving and going to the league early. Wasn't nobody leaving in their junior year and sophomore years and, you know, a freshman. What That wasn't going on, man, back when people became fans of their teams. So the old heads, like we are, that's what we were bred on. We was bred on those guys suiting up year after year after year. And we develop a relationship with those guys. We learn their numbers. I, I can't tell y'all how many times I'm looking on the court. And I'll be like, who is this dude with the dreads? Is that oh okay? Oh, okay, that's that's you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know this dude. But I knew oh, new time. I, I knew the other players. I can tell by just, you know, the stature, how they was running. I can tell who who was on the floor. I already knew. So yeah, that's over with, bro. Yeah. Box, what you got to say about that? I don't know if you we can hear you now. Nope. <laughs> can't we can't hear you at all. <laughs> hey, man, you may, we're going to charge this one to the game, man. We'll come back and get you yeah. after the show, man. We can't hear yeah. you. <laughs> we can't hear you. Oh, my gosh. Box, everybody, yeah, just, baby. Box. He going <laughs> to learn by trying to jump ahead on stuff. He going to learn. <laughs> Oh bad. Uh but yeah, man. So that's that's my thing about college sports right now. I I I'm done trying to be like, yo, this is my guy. He's that's my quarterback in my is my uh Terrell Owens voice. Nah, you my quarterback for this year or until you get hurt. Because mm. you ain't staying around. You're gonna be gone. I don't expect anybody to stay around. The university anymore. The portal is is big trash. I said it's it. Taking over. I hate the trash. I hate the portal. I just hate it. But it is what it is. It's the Game yep. of Thrones, baby. Now that's yeah. why I mean that's why uh, Nick Saban left. You know you, you seen that little press conference he put up. 
about, mm-hmm. you know, after he left Alabama. When when one of the greatest uh, high school coaches of all time walks away from the game because he don't want to deal with the players. When, when Whenever he can't control the players after the resume that he done built because of this money, and he say, you know what, I'm done. That right there is a sign. Yeah, mm. can't disagree at all. Man, and, and and speaking of this this last little thing I'm gonna get on before we open it up to the hog pen is Musk is reaching out to UAPB <sighs> players, so UCA players. He ain't, you know, it's like what we doing? Right. Why are you reaching out to these? I mean, it was another guy, paper player, sent us last night from a school. I ain't, I could, I, I didn't even know what the, yeah. the little, what, what was, who, what school was that? I don't even, I, bro, I don't even know. The paper player UTC. sent that to us and we was like, uh, who? I, I, UTC, where that said? I ain't never heard of this school. Yeah, we was like, man, who and why? Yeah, I'm like, he averaged 11 points. I mean, he yeah. look okay. He look like he's all right. He'd probably be all right, but I'm just like, what well, nobody checking for him at all? This is the problem with trying to uh, apply the philosophy of Kentucky to the University of Arkansas, swapping out nine different players every single season to yeah. come in Hang in on. jail and be a good team. You can't you can't build like that. You got to build. You sometimes you got to keep a player on the team. Needed, but the pro- needed for the leadership. Yeah. Hey, you got a super chat, man. Black Neighbors. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Black Neighbors in the building, man. We appreciate the super chat, man. It's the button. <laughs> Must that would never always, get not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Must would always rather <laughs> upgrade with a more experienced Porter player than develop anyone. Meanwhile, yeah. there's no continuity. Exactly. Fact. That's fact. Exactly, he said it better than me, man. Thank you for thank you for saying that, Black Neighbors. That boy got no, he said it better than me. That's so funny, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't care what nobody say. The screenshot, I mean, it was just perfect, dude. That is hilarious, hey, man. Black Neighbors, you my favorite person that does super <laughs> chats right now. Thank you. It means a oh lot. my god, that is hilarious. Now back, man. what did Box say about Blocker? You had it. I think it was right before that super chat. So you know when I. When I go to do those, those kind of like they get lost in the sauce. Oh, okay. Box said, oh, yeah, that's what he said. But man, I think Blocker is a good player. Must not the coach to make him better. There is a hundred percent no reason why Blocker should be in the portal. No one wants to play for Must anymore. That mm-hmm. could be true. Mm. Mm-hmm. That could be true. So Your boy got the Pittman disease. Hmm. Well, Pittman still got people wanting to play for him. But I will say this. We got 222 Bobby. people in the building. And I only got 74 likes. I need everybody to uh, close out the chat. Hit please. the like button. Come on, fellas. Man, hit the like button. Big trash. Hit the like button for us, man. Man, what is hit wrong with y'all button. tonight, man? Every day, every, every single time. <laughs> We got these trolls in here, man. They want to 228 people in here, and we we struggling, man. We got to beg for it. Don't scratch for it. Ask for it. <laughs> hey, I'm man, shout out to Little it. Rock 2517, man. Always supporting the channel, bro. Yeah, always supporting the channel, and I guarantee you hitting the like button. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think we... We might have some action with Box. I think I heard him coming through a little crispy. He in the green room trying to get himself. Uh oh, yes. hey, Box is Uh-oh. he is determined, bro. I promise you, <laughs> he is determined. He Our is determined to, to make this thing. <laughs> He's determined. He is not gonna. He's not gonna let this beat him. He be like, man, no, nah, man, come on, bro. Now, let me do this. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna throw this up in the chat. Y'all know what to do. And y'all come holler we- with your boys. Man, come on. Please, Keyboard come trip. talk to us, man. I want to know, do y'all think Devo or Blocker are going to a D1 school? That's what I want to know in the chat. Let us know want, or come argue with us. Hey, can you do these? You know I got OCD, right? Can you please turn your mic towards your mouth so it picks up from the front like it's supposed to? 
It's not a See, side. Oh, like, D no. said it could get it from me from, from the side too. It, it's yeah. not, but it's I'm, it's telling you. He, oh, yeah. he hard headed. That better? Just do what I ask. You see how it sounds way better. Turn the mic. Turn it. it, hey, it pivot. We we can't be troubleshooting. There you the go. Um, <laughs> man, uh, man, my keyboard. Oh, yo, what is going on with this thing today? It sounds that sounds way better. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, hold on. They said blocker going to Arkansas State. Oh man, man, he gonna be with our boy Darian Ford, State, man. That way they ain't got to uh, leave too far. Mm-hmm. Man, I ain't trying to go to no Arkansas State, bro. He said Devo going to Central High School. <laughs> they won the championship this that. year. Hey, Central running, they won the chip this year, man. So I ain't going to even hold them. Man, y'all better stop them. Melo, Melo in here hating on uh on Blocker. He talking about some why we why we talking about he like he just won, you know, a good shooter. Wait, what? We ain't, we ain't saying he was. I mean, you may have been. You must have gotten here late because I think I clearly stated that Blocker was mm, okay. Hey, uh, hey, Wes, I'm gonna send you the link. Can you post it in the chat for me, man? My something wrong with my keyboard today. I don't know what's going on. Ain't nothing working right today. You plug it up. Come on, bro. Hey, man. You know, I ain't going to call you out about your mic, so don't be talking. Like, Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Don't act like I you can't make no mistake. Well, that one I ain't going to make. <laughs> <laughs> Wes Brown said, DZ, turn your mic back. We can't hear you. I'm not playing with y'all tonight. <laughs> y'all playing, man. He sounds, so, he sound, you can hear the bass of his voice now. Hey, yeah, DZ, you know, we about to come that. to you, man. Uh, shout out the sponsors, man, before we get gone too far. Let's do it. You know we got to give love to Insurance Max. Experience the peace of mind in Insurance Max. Your one-stop shop for auto, home, and commercial insurance statewide. Don't wait. Call today for a free no-obligation quote. Secure your future in Insurance Max, where protection meets affordability. Call those guys at 870-534-2823. Max man. And then, you know, we got to give love to our people over at 3M Electric, man. Uh, Serving North Force Arkansas, they're your trusted commercial and residential electric contractor. As an SDV OSB, there's no job that they can't handle. Big, small, medium, they got you. Shout out 3M Electric. Get those guys a call at 479-408-9865. Let them know you heard it on the best podcast in the state, baby. Woo pig. Shout out to our sponsors, man. Insurance, Mac, 3M Electric. And yo, and y'all remember, uh, what is it? April the 13th. April the 13th. We're going to be up on the hill, baby. We coming to the spring game. And uh, we are going to be kicking it somewhere else. And they going to be Catfish Show because they close at 9 o'clock. And we're going to be kicking it way later than that. So uh, I got a, a call to my my brother up there. So we're going we gonna to tell y'all where we're going to be kicking it. But uh, that's April the 13th for the spring game. Come out here, kick it with your boys. Also, in August, the first game of the year, Arkansas UAPB, we, the whole cast, the characters, are going to be at War Memorial Stadium, tailgating. We're going to have our sponsors out there, both uh, 3M Electric and also uh, Insurance Max. Man, we're going to be showing some appreciation to our fans and people that just kick it with us, we just thank everybody for just rocking with us. So we want you guys to come out August the 31st to War Memorial Stadium. And we're going to have some banners and stuff up. Make sure you can find us. And we will let you know where we at because we going to be kicking it. You can believe that. All right, bet. All right, cool. Let me uh, run this back. Box ain't in the building. So uh, he, 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 he going to slit his wrist. Uh, hold on, man. He gonna slit his wrist, babe. We we having a little couple technical difficulties today, man. Y'all hold tight with me. Let me go back here and do this. We gonna Justin. I see you in the green room, man. Give me a minute. We gonna come get you. Uh, come in, bro. Just... Hold it down. P L P. All right, here we go. Let me go back to that one. Back to that. Hey, West Brown said he's giving out free hugs. West Don't scare end. him away. Club right, so Z. Box. box, can we hear can you hear us? 
Can y'all hear me? Man, you still we sound the same. Yeah, we can hear you. Say what? You still sound the same. Yeah, we can hear you, but. Yeah. What's up, Justin? Hey, man? How you doing tonight? Hey, what's up? What's hey, up, fellas? Dude. How y'all doing? Man, what up, we brother? Stream. We struggle streaming tonight, man. Man, I can dig it. You need to go put some batteries in your keyboard or something. Bro. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keyboard <laughs> messing up. Box ain't working. Box stuff ain't working. <laughs> He's about to go. Yeah. Box about to go to Best Buy and go change up his whole thing. Just hey, just, man. Box for the third crazy. time. <laughs> man, we struggle. We struggle. Hey, I'm hey, I had to change up mine too. I watched the video from the other night. That I was, I was like, dang, it's kind of dark. I need to, to put a light in front of my face. I'm kind of, it's kind of dark. <laughs> but uh. I want to laugh at Kentucky real fast for, for letting <laughs> for letting the dude come out there and go go seven for ten in the first half on three point. He had twenty one points and and they were all three pointers. He went ten hmm. for twenty in the game on three pointers. Kentucky, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Not a dang thing, boy. They ain't doing not a damn thing. <laughs> dang, that's crazy. So I want to know. How you feel about us losing um, Devo and Layden Blocker? You know, Devo, it's his time, man. He's, he's done a lot of great things for us. He, you know what I'm saying? He, he's given us a lot of good memories and all that. But just like KJ leaving, it was his time. He's been here for so many years. Hey, yep. move on. Go do, your, go do your other thing. What 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 really hurts me is a lot of fans – are going to remember him for the negative stuff. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They're going to remember him for the fingernails or, or they're going to remember him for the, the rumors that, that the fans started, that the fans started. They're going to remember yeah. him for that. And, and that really sucked. That really sucked. He did a lot for us. He did a whole lot for us. Block. Yeah, I agree. I'm cool with him going. I understand, I understand why he left. So I, you, you, you sound know, like you're underwater no again, deal. Justin. Um, you got that computer oh, love sound going on. It, it it's all of us. It's all of us hitting tonight. Am, I, right, am, am I still breaking <laughs> up that bad? Uh, it, it's it's, um, it's serviceable right now. Keep going. Okay, but yeah, blocker. I mean, it hurts. I would love to see uh, Arkansas kids stay there and get developed, but I mean, it is what it is. Like I said earlier, he hasn't done enough to say, "Oh, well, we just missed out on." Like he, he, he it really hurts the team for him to leave. It's just more so of, dang, he was an Arkansas kid that dipped out. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I never. Want I think, that. man. I I think you got to know Arkansas to understand what it means for Arkansas kids to play in Arkansas. It means a lot. And to let mm -hmm. them get away and go other places, even if they're not the best, we know what we're going to get from an Arkansas kid because the Razorbacks, man, that's what we know. We, we grow up watching the Razorbacks with our families, man, and we want to be a part of that. So they're going to give yeah. it they all. And that's one thing I, I – I will always say about Devo, man. Devo gave us his all. His all wasn't Corliss. His all wasn't Ty Day, Mayberry, or any of the above. But he gave us everything he had on that court. And as I ain't making no excuses for Devo. But what I am going to say is as a kid having to deal with so much nowadays, social media, always being – in your face, you know, you you can pull your phone up and see what everybody's saying about you. You can roll up to the Woo Pig podcast and watch it by yourself and be like, man, these dudes dogging me. Hey, man, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. So he playing in a different era, man. He, he can't just unplug. He can, but most people don't, and they can't. So right. they see all the bad press all the time. He know, and, he, and so when he rise up, to take that 35 foot jumper, knowing he ain't gonna hit the rim. He know I'm gonna get roasted tomorrow on the Woo Pig podcast. They gonna roast me. 
That's what I mean. Uh. He, <laughs> he know it. It, it, and it's rough, bro. It is rough. Is this a compliment or? It's a it's a compliment, man. I'm just saying. Devo mm. gave us his all. He gave us everything he had. I'm gonna say he that. He did. He did. Oh okay. yeah. What you hang up for? <laughs> Bruh, you on the Who phone, up? man. Time. Hold no, on. I got box tapped in. I had him on the. <laughs> I was using his video and tapping him in through the. Through Bruh, the broadcasting. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. You bringing his. Just, well, just call him so he can just be in. That's, he, that's he, what he I was using his, his video because his mic ain't working and just. I had called him through that and you. I mean. All right. So, hey, Justin, we can still hear you, man. Just give me a second to uh, get these little thingies off the screen. So you can, you can go ahead and talk if you want to. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, but, yeah, I want to plead with the fans again. Don't remember Devo for all the negative stuff that was brought up about him or or anything like that. Don't remember right. him for that. Remember yeah, him don't as Don't remember a, the nails. A, a, don't, don't remember the polish. Yeah, just remember him for what he did as a basketball player because that's what he was for Arkansas, a basketball player. <laughs> Absolutely, man. I'm going to read this super chat, though, because this is funny. Hey, man, Nima <laughs> sent you a super chat box. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Coach Box, please put this toward upgrading your Windows 95 from Sucker City computer. <laughs> Circuit City is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, y'all need Coach Box alone, man. He said, he said, man, I'm just finna get off, man. I'm gonna be right, Saturday. I ain't studying. He said they're not gonna talk about me. <laughs> hey, rest in peace, Circuit City, man. Hey Bruh. man, Box coming for y'all dome. Resting for sure. He coming for y'all. Everybody, he reading these chats. He coming for your dome on Saturday. I'm telling you. That boy said, what does 95 from Circuit from City, Circuit boy? City. Boy. Hilarious. Hey, man. True story about Circuit City, man. I be, you remember you used to go to Circuit City, man? They give you $400 off for a deep, uh, for anything you want. You just got to sign up for Microsoft uh, yep. uh, Internet. Boy, I got a $400 gift card. I'm like, hey, sign me up, man. Got me a brand new DVD <laughs> player. I'm like, boy, I got these DVDs now, boy. Oh, nah, nah. Man, man, I had a three-year plan for, to, to have... Oh, uh, uh, opt online internet or something retarded like that, man. <laughs> yeah. That was a long time ago. Circuit bro. City, I, I remember, man. I'm trying to remember what was this system I had. That, uh, oh, man. It, it was like where you can like online chat and stuff. It was like a little black box came with a keyboard. And that was back when, you know, um, oh, I wish I could remember the name of it. It was fresh in the internet days. Bro, it was fresh, bro. Circuit City used to be like the joint, a man. Oh yeah, like like AOL, that AOL internet boy. Yeah, <laughs> everybody wanted to hear that. You got mail. <laughs> oh snap! I'm yeah. in the business now. I'm trying to, bro. I'm, I'm trying to unsubscribe to so many things. I'm getting my inbox, man. I think it got to like eighteen hundred, man. I'd be like, <laughs> something. You know how I get. Everybody had AOL. Everybody had a DVD player from Circuit City. Don't no. act like I'm the only one. No. I, 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 I got like four one. different email addresses. Boy, comp you serve. <laughs> wow, man. <laughs> hey, oh man. Hey, y'all were talking about y'all were talking about NIL earlier. Can we stop? Can we just please stop calling it NIL? It's not NIL. It ain't it's that. It's not NIL. Please, people need to stop calling it NIL because that's not what it is. What is it then? It's free agent. What is it's it? It's free agency. Free agency. It's free agency. Mm, yeah. It's free exactly. agency. You, you, you can come over here. Kids are asking, am I going to play? How much money are you going to give me? That's free agency. They need to stop yeah. stop lying and calling it NIL because that's not what it is. It's, it's like all. free agency, but you're not guaranteed to stay in the NBA. You might go to the G League. Right. Mm. Yeah, man. It's I, I mean, I get it. I understand. Um these schools been making money off these kids hand over fist for so long. And now, you know, the the what's the old saying? The 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 chickens that came home to roost? Is that how it goes? Yeah. Something like that? Mm -hmm. That's what it is now. These 
these uh, kids now can get paid because of people like Ed O'Bannon, who challenged the NCAA. You got a whole yeah. video game out here with my name, with my face on the video game, and you mean to tell me I can't get paid? I'm on the cover. You owe me some money for using my likeness. Yeah. Yeah, you making money out of Pandora's profit, box. Huh? Say it again, G. I said, you, I mean, you're using my image and it's profitable. So, yeah. profit sharing. Yeah. You, you're, yeah. And you're I'm not against players getting paid. Mm hmm. No, you're I'm selling not the jersey that you know I wear. You just take the name off of it. But you're making money off my number, the number that everybody knows that I wear. You, you're making money off, but I can't get a dime. If I go out here and sign a little autograph and get two thousand dollars, I'm breaking my. Uh, I'm breaking. I, I, I'm gonna get suspended. I can't play no more. Just like old boy that played for UCF, the kicker, uh, destroying. He on he on YouTube now got millions of followers. He had a YouTube channel. Why he was a kicker for UCF? I don't know if y'all know this guy. He was a kicker at UCF. He had a successful YouTube channel. He's getting paid. He got he got. Hundreds of thousands of followers in college. Dude made the funniest videos. A lot of the times it was about football. So they told him, hey, you can't do that and be a college athlete. He said, you, you either kill your YouTube channel or we take your scholarship. Well, he was like, well, cool. I'll pay for my own. I'll, I'll pay for my own because I don't need you to pay for my school. They still wouldn't let him play. So... He he lost mm. so many so many opportunities because he was just like, it's stupid to give up this money to kick a ball to kick a ball. I mean, that's his mm. dream. He's still trying to make it to the NFL. But hey, he lost a lot of opportunities over some dumb stuff. Mm -hmm. Over some dumb stuff. I hope I can rain mellow on the thing. I, my, at least my mouse is working. I don't know what's you going on with the keyboard. Today? Actually, I Mello. did. It, it has nothing to do with that, but Melo, uh, what's going what on, do? man? What it do? What it do? What's up, my guy? What, what you got to say to us, man? You, we, I know you come here to talk about Layton Blocker. Let me say his name right before they get me on in the chat. Layton Blocker. Yeah, man. I'm just trying to see why everybody up in the uproar, man. Blocker ain't like that. We can upgrade from Blocker. Blocker ain't do nothing but run around. Everybody can run around. I think everybody mm. upset because... We're we're tired of swapping out nine players a year. Everybody do that. Not everybody. Who? Who don't? Everybody don't do that. Who don't? Name them. Who? I mean, I ain't gonna. Every, I can't sit here. I don't, every, I'll be honest with you. I don't watch other teams, so I don't know what they do from year to year. Every school, <laughs> school do that, man. That's just how it go right now. That's just with the portal and all that. Every school swapping up uh, teams every year. You only get that three, four players back. Think about it, Alabama. That won the same team they had last year. Florida, right. that won the same team they had last year. Kentucky, no, that won the same team. Only team they had the same players is like Vanderbilt and stuff like that. You know, they weren't good at all. In Tennessee, Tennessee. Tennessee had new players too. Connect didn't play for them last year. So Only tell me this, Melo. So you didn't see no potential in Layton Blocker? Not a single ounce of potential? I mean... If Blocker Blocker gonna be like that boy uh, y'all talking about from BYU, man, in about three, about two, three years, then he gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? Not right now mm. though. He ain't like an impact player right now. He won the impact mm. freshman. I ain't mad at he that. Won, yeah, he won one of the best freshmen we done had in the five last five years and nothing like that. And it won because most of them play him. You could watch when he play. He can't even shoot the ball. And I he mean, won, like, he, he, he is a freshman dribble, though, right? So. I mean, it's plenty of freshmen done play. I freshman, mean, it's over for the freshman thing. There's plenty of freshmen that play. Yeah. But see, I, I feel like you kind of highlighting a point that we don't see from the um, portal that's also happening. Guys, now, since this is the NBA, basically, and you can get paid, now you have to come in and be a star. Fans don't want to see you. And I think that's destroying college basketball or college sports, period. People, we need that development in college. That's what college is for. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's kind of more my argument. I feel you, but what they doing now, man, they just going to get the best, like, if you if you been in college three, four years, man, they ain't going to get no freshmen. They go, that's in football, too. They going to get the players. 
they going to get the ones who, who already proven. They ain't going to get no freshmen unless you like a top top freshman. Like look at Arkansas now recruiting. We ain't, what freshmen we got? I mean, what high school seniors we got that we looking at? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wes ain't worried about the seniors. He worried about the, them boys in the portal, them boys who've been in school three, four years. That's what he want. He is still <clears throat> he is still draft like two. Oh yeah, yeah, he will, but he ain't just that ain't like the number one thing he looking for. Big yeah. trash. Mm -hmm. Unless you know some yeah. freshmen that can come impact. Hey, but I'm telling you, man, JJ Andrews, he the next thing from Arkansas, man. Y'all better keep your eyes open in the tenth grade. He the next one. Where you going to school at? Little Rock Christian. He's Sean uh, okay. Andrews' son. Y'all know hey, Sean Andrews that played on Sean Andrews that played on the O line for Arkansas. Oh, okay. From yeah, Camden, yeah, yeah. big dude. Oh, too. yeah, from Camden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah his he got son, the brother. Little Rock Christian. Yeah, it, mm. yeah. His son, the next one, man. So whoever can keep his son in the state, that's what we need on the hill, because he a pro. Mm. Just, to, just to let y'all put y'all on some game, man. Come on <laughs> now, that. mellow. <laughs> I heard that. Let me play it. Let me play it. <laughs> yeah. Let's put y'all on some, man. But yeah, man, we ain't blocking them, ain't doing nothing, man. And Debo, his time was up anyway, man. Debo might well go overseas. I don't think he gonna go to college. No other college. Mm. I mean, I can dig that. You muted, though, Debo. Like, I think that would be it. I think that would be Devo. a good opportunity for Devo. He's gonna go to <laughs> Wait, you said what? You said Devo Roberts. going overseas? He might as yeah, well. that's that's why I said that's that's yeah. a good option for him. Yeah, he he gonna have to go to Patrick Beverly route for sure. If that's the only way. Yeah. I don't see the NBA in his future though. Nah, no, I don't see it either. No, the WNBA. He's not. He's not a good enough shooter. <laughs> no, he's not a good enough defender. Man, he better go get him, a, get him a get him a Jawana uh, so man dress. So basically, he ain't a good enough shooter. He ain't a good enough <laughs> defender. He ain't a good enough player. <laughs> it can be Jawana man. <laughs> you can get in the WNBA, man. Hey, the only, only people we got coming back is Marks and Bell. Wait, what we got coming back? It look like everybody gone, man. Brazil. Brazil and, still. He still ain't yeah, gone. Yeah, he ain't done nothing yet, and Battle ain't done nothing yet. Marks Davenport. ain't said nothing yet. So really trying to, yeah, I bet you they they really trying to sit around and see what Coach must do. Probably, mm -hmm. probably, but they cleaning it out up there, man. Hey, did y'all? They see need them? to. Did y'all see those clips of uh, opinion in practice? Nah. I didn't even want to watch that, man. <laughs> oh my gosh! I saw did you it, see but it, I didn't Bello? watch it. Bro, I'm not ticking for opinion, bro. Hey, but you know <laughs> what was what what stood out to me. Was not the fact that he was he was busting them shots. Why he have a sports bra on? That dude was right there playing in a sports bra. Seth <laughs> had nah. a sports bra on. I'm like, why nah. I ain't never nah. seen no dude playing a sports bra? Y'all gotta go no check way. them clips out, bro. Go check it out. We I'm got like, why? Why he got a sport? What is this? No, nah, that's the yeah. thing. They got a new thing that takes their heart rate and all that type of stuff. All is that what that they, is? They, they, yeah, they wear that in football underneath their pads and stuff too. Yeah. Man, I was that's like, what, what in the world is this? He got on. I was trying. I was tripping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm glad you told me what that was, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's what that is. Okay, all right. I don't feel bad. I, I ain't tripping no more. Juana Davis, yeah. that, that's the new name. That's the only way he's going to make it to anything that's got NBA on the end of it. Yeah, <laughs> but, like, hey, but like bro said, yeah, man, we got to appreciate it. Hey, we got to appreciate Debo because I ain't going to lie. Last year, this time, bro, everybody was screaming, hollering when Debo went crazy on Kansas. So we can't really just be like yeah. that Debo, man. We gave him some love, though. Give him don't props, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we gave him some love. I, I mean, but you know how it go. You know how it go, bro. Mm -hmm. We going to give you your flowers when you are alive. But when you need the dragon smoke, we going to give that to you, too. That's the way the barbershop go. Sometimes it's your day. And this, this year, Debo had more... Or them times when it was just his day because of his performance. You can't hold him on. I mean, you can't hold us on that. It wasn't our oh, yeah. fault that he quit the team again. It wasn't our fault that he came back. And after he came back, he didn't. He averaged two point three points a game for those last games. Is no, that our right. fault? No, you're right. No, but I just want to. I just want to say this too. While I'm on here too. 
Devo might be one of the last kids that's an Arkansas kid that stay on the hill for like four years too. In this whole new little thing we got going on, yeah. transferring all that, he might be the last yeah. one that we got like that's a homegrown that's gonna stay that stayed four years and did what he did. You know what I'm saying? That's all reason. Yeah, I, that's you know, I give him salute for sure. Cause, that's because it ain't because that's I what definitely I'm believe that. So it ain't gonna be like that no more. Shout out that hey! Shout out to Melo for, for for for. I mean, I mean that's love, and we gave that yeah, to yeah. him. Gotta give it to him, man. He did that for us. He had me happy yeah. when he was going crazy on Kansas. I ain't gonna lie. He had me. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie either. I, I felt a little emotional after the game, bro. If you if you tell me if you're an Arkansas Razorback fan and you watched that game and you saw us come back and you saw Devo just really really make some great plays. And, and hit a big three. And, I mean, it was just emotional. I felt that emotion after the game. If you sat, sit there and you watch that game and you didn't feel a little bit kind of choked up in the, on the inside as a Razorback fan, I don't believe you. Get off my phone line with that. So, yeah, I ain't going to hold him on that. Yeah, salute to Devo for that, man, for them memories, man. We let them have it this year, man. Yeah. So, we got to give him his salutes, man. So yes, sir. Cool, man. Cause we did get him, we got him this year, man. He did this shit was crazy for him, but salute for everything he did, man. Shout yeah. out. I just want to say that because people be saying that uh, we don't give him his credit and all that, so let's give him his credit. Before, yeah, you know what we, go, we, we go. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I mean, I'm 100 percent with you. We 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 salute we, to Devo Davis. Yeah. We what appreciate you've done the for University man. of Arkansas, man. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, we gave him a 21 gun salute. What more do you want from me? <laughs> that's it. That's all I wanted, man. That's it. That's it. But I ain't giving you. Know, I ain't giving What opinion. more do you fucking... want from me? Because <laughs> you know, Melo was really trying to check us all year long about Devo. So I mean, this ain't brand new coming from Melo. Yeah, all year, yeah, true. Melo was checking us on when we get on Devo. He was like, "Man, y'all yeah. forgot. Y'all forgot. Well, we didn't forget. We just seeing what we saw. We so we saw, this ain't yeah. brand new coming from Melo. So shout out yeah. to Devo." For Melo. Yeah, I'm going to read, up, I'm gonna read some of these comments, man. Uh, Danny Byrne says, no such thing as coaching anymore. They're managers. When coaching becomes extinct, the transfer portal won't matter. They'll all be super trash. Mm. 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 Man, this That's dude still out here coaching, man. man. People still out here coaching, man. Man. That was what I was going to say. It's, it's crazy. It's just hitting us worse than most because, bro, there's a lot of good coaches out here still doing their thing. It just hit mm -hmm. us this year, man. It ain't hit us. It just we just got it this year, man. We were beating people head in with them transfers these other years, man. It just got us this year. It's all good. Yeah. But is I think it, people is are it, panicking. Let me ask, let me ask you this though: Is it such a decline this year that it's going to take more than one year to recover? Nah. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yeah, I think we in the a way. microwave age. You yeah. can pop that mug in, hit the two minute button, and you good. If you can assess yeah. talent and look at a player and be like, he's special. You can build a you can build the right team. Or he may be, he may not be special, but he's the right fit for my program and my style of play. You can build a program real quick. I think yeah, the problem think with it with Mus is that he he don't really know how to assess talent. I think he do though. I think that's why we got the transfers that we got all the other time we went to the Elite Eight. When we got Stanley Moutier and all the other dudes, that was mm -hmm. a sense of talent. I think this year he mm -hmm. missed though. He missed. I don't know. Ronnie Brewer might have been picking the players like because he missed. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, man, I don't Bayfall. I give you that Bayfall because I don't know what's the deal with Bayfall. I, give you that. <laughs> I don't know what's the deal with Bayfall. I give you that. But like the rest of them, I must be picking the right players. Like Ricky Council, bro. If Ricky Council wouldn't have came to Arkansas. Ricky Council wouldn't be in the NBA, bro. I believe that. Mm. Man, yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe. they showcased him. He show he got showcased at the Razorbacks. But that's for fact. But Melo, let me ask you this though: yeah. Why why is it that when we have a guy that can that can shoot the rock, Jackson Robinson, Joseph Pinion? Anybody who can flat out shoot the rock can't find their way on the court in Mus's system. When you say Jackson Mus, Ja what what you about to say about Jackson Robinson? Jack Jackson Robinson played a little bit when he was here. He just didn't play a lot as much as he wanted to play. Jackson Robinson Man, shooting, he'll he make a three and get yanked out the game when he missed the next three. Who was you on the team with Jackson Robinson though? 
He played the, like two, three years ago. So that was, was with no take. No, no, no take was a. Fr- I mean, uh, that was no take's first year. Yeah, and he was coming off of the bench. Was he better than Matt Jones? He wasn't there. Matt Jones. Matt. He wasn't there. Who was there? Somebody was there. Moses. He wasn't better than Moses. It was. It was the year he. It was no take's first year. Uh, so yeah. that was the Moses Moody team. Yeah. Jalen yeah, Williams and all them. Yeah. Yeah, he went better than Moses and nothing like that. I, so I ain't like, saying he was better than Moses Moody. I'm saying he he can find his way on the court even as a rotational player. I mean, I don't know. I think Moses, they were trying to get Moses to their league. So Moses took a lot of them minutes and a lot of them shots too. Man, Moses wasn't doing yeah. nothing. JD Note was doing team, everything. Bro. Oh, Moses yeah. every 15, bro. Moses was the uh, freshman of the year in the SEC, bro, and the 14th. 15. Bro. Come on, bro. Come on, 15. bro. SEC Man. freshman of the year, bro. What 15. 15 bro. Ain't, ain't balling. That's all right. 15 points. In college, in college, that's a lot, bro. This ain't Come the NBA, on, bro. In college, man. that's a lot. How many 15. people you know every Hold 15? Hold on. You talking 15 about 15 points, points, points the entire season? Yeah. Oh, man, get out of here. 15 points he went, ain't balling, balling. He went number 14 in the draft. What more y'all want? I mean, he, he was he all right. he went to the Final Four. I mean, he went to the Elite Eight. Man, he was, the, he was, the, he was the, the poor man's Joe Johnson, man. He was not that good, bro. I'm, I said what I said. That's why when he got to the NBA, he on the bench burning that joint up. Look, he can't get look, off can't, that mug. You can't say he not that good and he won freshman of the year in the SEC. Man, that don't it even must, make sense. But he must be some bum freshmen in the SEC that year. Oh man, that's all I'm saying. Let me, let me go back to the chat, man. Let me see what the what the what the what they talking about in here. DJ Hall, what team won the chip through the portal? We're re- rebuilding every year. That's not happening. Champ, that's not championship pedigree. Uh, we're turning into University of Kentucky super trash. Hey, they they got beat by some scrubs today, so I they mean, got beat by two short team. Boy, hey man, <laughs> they got be, they got about beat by JJ Reddick brother and uh, the dude that played in the La Bamba. He was out there beast hey, mode. Hey, them boys out there. Hey, let, let me say it again. Let me say it again for those that weren't in here when I first came in. Their player coming off the bench had seven three pointers in the first half, all 21 of his points, and came in and dropped 10 out of 20 the entire game and didn't have no assists. <laughs> Bruh. Not a single assist. Man, hey, right. yeah, did y'all watch the game? He was letting that thing go. And wasn't too much Kentucky could do. Hey, hey, they, hey, he was shooting it with a hand in his face every time. He was doing Look everything. up in the sky. You, it's a bird. Off, it's a plane. Off, what that man name off balance, is? balance, everything. It's unbiased, man. Unbiased. Uh-oh. Unbiased. unbiased. He, he, he trapped in the closet again. Oh, yeah. He going to be whispering tonight. <laughs> hey, uh, look here. Uh, you got it. You got this. <laughs> yeah. He whispering. <laughs> Unbiased called in and put his phone down. He got to answer the trucking call. <laughs> Is that unbiased? Nah, Jackson, Jackson Robinson, well, he went off late tonight, though. Jackson Robinson, decent. But I just, that, he, man, it's just so crazy. You got to stay three, four years to get that off, man. He ain't want to stay at Arkansas, man. The boy didn't want to stay on the hill. I'm I, you know what I want to know? Uh, this is what I would really like to ask the Kentucky coach. Is how you shoot 23s. How do you do that? You say how you what? How, how, do, you, how, do, how do you let a guy shoot 23s against you? See, that's he that's, was, he that's insane. Go. Man, look, he was letting it go, bro. He was letting he, it I go. mean, he was really just letting it go from anywhere. He yeah. was throwing yeah, hook yeah. shots from the three point line. Yeah, Bro, yeah, he though. Like he, he was. He was he I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen a stat line that that's ten for twenty with no two point shots. All threes, bro. The dude, he didn't shoot. He didn't even shoot a layup. 
been there for the you fine. Welcome to the age of Steph Curry kids. Bruh. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm as a, right. as a, as a, I don't know uh, what's Kentucky going on coach, with your deal, bro. He, he, they should have been going out there, man. Uh, put the boxing one on him. Dude, come off the bitch, shoot like that. How do you lose to that, man? That's that's Now, that right there is bad coaching. But Kentucky you know that biggest no man on the floor was 6'9"? Mm. Hey. The biggest player bro. for the biggest player for two short team was six nine. They was too short and they still hey. beat damn. La, La, La Bamba was he was killing them boys down low. I mean hey, he man. was straight killing them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was punishing the Kentucky big dudes. But Kentucky ain't got no good defense. They gave up what we had, like ninety three on Kentucky or something like that. They ain't got no good defense. Man, I don't care. Mm-hmm. They might not have no good defense, but how you gonna let that little dude just beast mode you like that? Shooting it, boy. <laughs> he was letting it go. Ah, uh, we got we hey, got Captain no Save him. He, we got Devo Captain Save him <laughs> in the building. Come on, what, what you got? I know you come, come here to defend Devo. Because I say so. I wanna be so. <laughs> Are y'all serious? Are y'all serious? <laughs> Are y'all serious right now? <laughs> he coming here to defend Devo. Y'all reckless. Y'all reckless with it. It's it's real simple, man. Thanks for the thanks for the good moments, Devo. But it was time, man. I mean, listen. He, he I'm gonna remember the good things that he did, but the bad things is the reason why we like, okay, this it's been real, bro. You know, God bless. Wish you the best. That's it. You know, there's nothing else really to say other than that, man. You know, thanks for the thanks for your efforts when you did have your best efforts on the court, but it's time to keep it moving, bro. And um, also with Blocker, I'm sad, but at the same token, I'm like, what are we missing? You know, we we talk about this defense and all that, but our def- team defense was Dookie. So I mean, did he make that much of an impact? I mean, maybe if he should have saw the floor a little bit more, but at the end of the day, man, we're in the mic. The, get, the game is microwave now. It's, it's not. It's not sitting in the oven, you know. So, you know, it is what it is, man. But I think ODB jumping out the building per always. You know what I mean? You know, calling everything super trash. It don't be trash, you know. Um, Kentucky got beat because they ain't got no defense. Simple as that. You know, SEC is a doo doo right now. I mean, you know, Tennessee's blowing out who they supposed to blow out. So they they'll be the hope. But I don't care if anybody wins in the SEC. I hope they all lose. How about that? I hope they all lose. I don't. I didn't put no brackets in. I ain't, I'm depressed. Arkansas sucks. So why am I be playing bracket madness when it's madness on the hill? I don't care. I don't care who's in the tournament. I'm watching just to watch, but I have no invested interest when Arkansas is not in the tournament. What you mean to tell I'm me not, you and OD got the same same mentality? <laughs> I'm not seeing everything about hey. SEC, man. Listen, middle finger to the hey. SEC. Look at that. Bro, <laughs> hey, hey, hey that's like an OD. Will I tell you, he is moody when the Razorbacks lose. He moody. He he don't want to hear yeah. nothing. He be like, man, I'm done. Man. I get moody too. Speaking of moody, I'm tired of you slandering moody too, bro. OD, you got to stop the moody slander, bro. Stop it now. ASAP. I mean, like, you out of your mind. And also, let me go on my last bit of this rant. This in state player thing. Listen, it's great to have in state talent who can show up and show out. But it ain't no end all be all. People be going crazy. Oh, we don't get like, in state talent. I'll man, take out, change your pampers. I don't want to hear it, man. Listen, at the end of the day, it's about having the best team on the floor that's going to produce and get wins. That's what it's about, regardless of where they're from. We getting over. We getting. We putting too much emphasis on somebody coming from Arkansas. That you know, all oh, this pride of playing for the state. No, the pride is when you play. Period. If you ain't got the skills to pay the bills, then you don't play. And I want to hear about this Jackson Robinson. Oh, we didn't develop Jackson. Jackson Robinson sat on the pine at AM. It took him two years at BYU to get to where he was. So he was gonna. He he, he sat on the bench when with with JD Note. He sat on the bench with Anthony Black and them. Well, actually, he was going by that, but. At the end of the day, he had to be developed and he had to go all the way to a senior year to get to this point. He wouldn't have stayed anyway. He didn't stay at AM, he didn't stay at Arkansas. He developed a year in BYU and then his senior year he went off. So listen, it would have been nice to have him, but realistically speaking, he wouldn't have stayed anyway because he did was he was not gonna be the starting guy. We're in the microwave era of basketball, so we're gonna have to either accept that or change our pampers. Which one we gonna do? Mm-hmm. 
Now, hey, I don't wear man. no pampers, so I, I don't know I, what you're talking about. Your, I let you I get your thing off, but I'm going to go back to this Moses Moody situation, right? No, nah, you ain't going to do it. Talk about it. Moses Moody Talk about it. In the war, in a, in a Golden State uniform, first year, 4.4 points a game. Big trash. Oh, his second year, he did, even, he did even Arkansas. better. 4.8 points a game. Big trash. Oh, Why are you mentioning what he's doing at the old state, this bro? Year. See, look, you just disrespectful, OD. You just you know, having 7.9 points a game. You averaging four game. burgers a game. Cut it out. <laughs> no, he said. No, he said he did better. Four point eight. What you mean? Moses Moody is not the second. Come on, bro. I mean, are you really gonna defend four points in two consecutive well, that's a, that's seasons? That's a gold state. We talking about what he did for Arkansas. Pick? That one year he played, he was the SEC Freshman of the Year. He led the team in points, and even when he wasn't playing well in the tournament, he played defense and gave effort. At the end of the day, end of the day, he was the he was the catalyst to help lead us to where we got to. Don't disrespect him. Stop it. Disrespect. Stop the move. What he do for you? Did he win anything at Arkansas? We went no. to the Elite Eight with Moody, no and we hadn't been there in twenty. In 20 we hadn't been there in twenty three years. We hadn't been there in twenty three years. We went to the, you we ain't went to the great after that. Stop. So what you mean? He didn't. He didn't make. He didn't push the needle at all. We went to the great eight the year after. So what you mean? Because we had. Yeah, because we got other players that were good. I can't yeah, believe JD I'm hearing Note, this. Though. JD Note was that dude two years in a row. So what you talking about? He was that guy Moses two Moody, years in a row. The leading scorer of that team Nose was Moses Moody. He was the Man leading scorer you. on the team. He was the leading scorer on the team, the SEC Freshman of the Year, the first one and done player in Arkansas history. And you're disrespecting him? Boy, you better have 84 seats. Bruh, 84. Y'all smoking that major crack. <laughs> Moses Moody was not that dude. Major crack. <laughs> well, we need a bucket. JD Note got the buckets. Y'all tripping, <laughs> tripping. If you think we needed a bucket, oh, get a bottle, Moses Moody. Yeah, he gonna jack up that three from the corner and it's gonna bang, 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 bang. He won't OD, go hit OD, it. OD, he won't go OD, hit it. OD, OD, how many, how many, how many freshmen have we put into the NBA? How many freshmen did we send to the what NBA? The one. Garbage. And guess who that <laughs> one is? Moses that, Moody. Moses Moody wasn't all that. But y'all wild out here. Hey, it's my turn. You think Moses Moody was that dude? He was not. It's my turn for my rant. All right, y'all put a done? Pole, put a poll. Put a poll. It's time Just for my rant. Right. Yeah, put the poll up, OD. Put the poll up. Put the I poll can't up. Type right now, man. It, uh, I don't watch oh. the stream doing the thing, so I can't put the no poll up. No, nah, actually, you know what? It must be my program because my keyboard is working. It's typing everywhere else. I just can't type you in the world. chat. I don't know why. I'll worry about that later. Mm. DZ, go ahead because I have to burn unbiased down with these Moses Moody stats because I'm coming <laughs> for you in a minute. Big trash. Yeah. Go ahead, DZ. Yeah. It's time for my rant. All right. First of all, uh, unbiased that came out the closet and started turning into OD. What's going on? What's happening with that? I don't trust no unbiased that, got, uh, that don't got ashy lips. Dude got moisturized, got a haircut, and now unbiased <laughs> want to come in here talking about everybody else. Hey, relax. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know it's all love, but unbiased and turned into he tub bias now. Tobias, <laughs> let me tell you something, man. He Moody was bias. okay. Moody was okay. Oh, he, I'm he about had to roast him. I'm about to roast him. Go ahead, DZ. I'm about to roast this boy. As soon as you get done, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm locked and loaded. Moses hey, Moody. Tob <laughs> Tobias went to his barber and said, "Let me get the OD," and now they look alike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I, can, can I cook now? It's your turn. Moses Attack. Moody, the first game of the NCAA tournament, Moses Moody had 12 points. 12. Big trash. That's all he had. He went four from eight, five, 50%. Okay. We, it was Colgate. Okay. Okay. Cool. The next game, we played Texas Tech. He had 15 points. Big trash. Now, Oral Roberts was the third game we played. Oral Roberts, y'all ready for this? Uh -oh. This guy who went number 14 in the draft, who averaged four points a game for two years in a row, had 14 points, right? Garbage. Now, 
This is the kicker right here. When he had some real talent, we played Baylor. When they had real talent, that boy went two for ten. Two for ten. Y'all want to say I'm tripping? The boy had 11 points. Garbage. <laughs> It's yeah, called you points. have you can have bad games, you know that. Not every game you're gonna light up the scoreboard. It's he called never a team game. Points. Cause, you, Cause you know why? JD Note had all the points. What you mean? JD Note was that dude. Let me look up JD Note. Why you somebody else cook uh, unbiased real quick? Y'all boy got me hyping here tonight. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Would you hey hey unbiased? Would you take would you take Note or would you take Moody? Just for, it's a tough call. It's a tough call because no take that guy, call. man. No take that guy. To build a team around, I would take Moody. To build uh, a team around, that, to, to, to win a game, I take no take. Well, ain't that what we're trying to do, win games? Yeah, but if I'm building a team, though, Moody was this, 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 this what, listen, I'm not sitting here acting like Moody is a all, like the all-time greatest Arkansas Razorback. I'm not trying to say he was on the floor. He was insane. He was a freshman. But look what he did as a freshman. The man averaged 17 points a game as a freshman. Listen, he had some bad games, especially in the tournament. And in 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 in, in uh in dang, my, I'm gonna turn my brain. I'm gonna put stuttering. Um, Got him stuttering he had, here. He, he had games in the tournament where he struggled some, but that's what will happen sometimes with freshmen. But to devalue him is ridiculous because he set the tone for what we end up getting victory-wise as an Arkansas Razorback. He's the first player to ever be drafted coming out as a freshman. We got to recognize and acknowledge that. I'm not trying to say he's a world beater or nothing like that, but for the Razorbacks, for setting the tone in the Muscleman era, he was the cornerstone piece. You can and y'all talk about the in state talent. He was the in state talent that did it, that made it to the pros as a freshman as an Arkansas Razorback. Unlike Monk, who ended up going to Kentucky. Come on, y'all gotta put some put some perspective on this, bro. OD, you tripping, tripping? Yeah, wave your hand in there like you just the don't stat, care. The stats say I ain't tripping, tripping. Man, you can say whatever you want, man. Do we want a freshman of the year, man? We ain't worried about no stats. Dude made it to the elite a freshman of the year. He couldn't be. He can't be traded. Man, let me read my super chats, man. I got a couple super chats. I'm coming back to this conversation. Jeremiah says, the last three years, Arkansas has been the only SEC team, SEC team to hold it down in the tournament. Usually, all the other SEC teams get upset. But since we're not there, we're going to hold it down for the SEC. Hold on mm -hmm. now. He's talking a, about Tennessee. Now, if it's one thing me, me and uh, uh, Unbiased agree with, is the SEC teams can all burn. I don't care if any of them win. <laughs> they all can lose. Every last one of them. I don't want to hear nobody from the SEC say we got a championship. Uh-uh. Uh, I don't want to hear Hey, most, most men win games in that tournament. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, man, we got a, Mo we got a Moses Moody supporter. Who, who Matt G? Thank you for supporting the channel, man. You and uh, Jeremiah, man. We appreciate you. He said, Moody, not a good shooter. Uh-oh. I thought he was a supporter. I, I, he on my side. He only mm -hmm. good. He was it? He only got most of his points at the free throw line. JD was the most impactful guy, even coming off the bench all three years. Ooh. You heard what Wait, Matt man. G said. You heard what uh -huh. he said. Bro, put, put some respect race. on he it. Won the one, he won the one first night of the year with number free throws, bro. Let's man, real, you, bro. Come, come on. on now. Come on. Be now. real, Hold bro. On. Be real. Who just won first night of the year this year? In the SEC, mm -hmm. we don't even know who who, who did. Oh, I think uh, what Rob Dillingham didn't. Didn't Dillingham win first of the year? Hey man, he don't play for Arkansas. I don't know who yeah, won. Yeah. And he a pro, man. Hey Moses, pro Moses, if, SEC freshman of the year, man. Nobody else from, came to Arkansas and did that. What JD don't say win nothing. Oh, uh, what he win? How about he was a, yeah. he was the third he was the third string All American? What you mean? For who? The year he the year that we went to the great uh, to Elite Eight, he was third he was third string All American. J D uh, Moses Moody went on that list. He was J D no take with the honorable take. mention. He was honorable mention. Yeah, Shut your was, mouth, OD. He wasn't associated. And Reed Shepard was the SEC freshman of the year. 
Bro, y'all finna Google make me pull up the JD Note book stats right here. Hold on. Y'all honorable y'all mention. Put some respect on AP it. Honorable Mention. Put some yeah, respect honorable on Honorable Mention. It. Uh, like two, that, that, 21 that, that, that. and 22, All American, third team, Associated Press. And this is on okay. the Arkansas Razorback website. Okay. I, right. Y'all okay, put some respect on it. <laughs> yeah. But the thing you is, though, OD, you don't have to dog out Moody to give JD no tape blood, bro. That's yeah, the thing. No, no, you ain't no, got to no. do you, that. You, you pick the side of the street. You picked no, the no, side no, of the you, street. You forced the side of the street. I didn't pick the side of the street. You tried to force the side of the street because you got that Modi slate uh, slander in your in your mind. You tried to force it. I got love for both players. I appreciate what both of them did. You picked my dude, J.D. Note, and he ain't having it. We ain't having no J.D. J.D. Note disrespect on the whooping. I didn't podcast. disrespect him. You don't want to do any disrespect. He was a G. I don't care what nobody say. Two for That's why you keep doing the work. You know what's so crazy though? Freshman Think about this though. We arguing about this because our team this year sucks so bad. We arguing yeah, about passion. Feel me. Yeah, we we arguing about players that played three, four years ago. I know, right? But it's fun though. I know. Hey, me, hey, you know what me and DZ doing? We just sitting there watching y'all argue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We just, we just sitting there watching y'all argue. We ain't going to let no smoke me down. Though. I had ashy lips when I had my beard and all that. Like, dang, DZ. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, you don't, I, yeah. I, I think you got to get the beard bite, the beard back, man. We, we used to unbias with the beard, man. I know, we, right? Bro, we, got, we got his brother hey, Bias on the phone. You said no take the best guard in the muscle man era. Who saying? is? Who is? You saying Don't, you you saying yeah, that's what saying I'm saying. Don't the best one? Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. You can say Anthony mm. Black all you want to. Mm. But I ain't Anthony, gonna say nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about Anthony it. Black couldn't get me a bucket. It. If I need a bucket, I can't give you give Anthony Black the ball. He was a six seven point guard that didn't know how to post nobody. He couldn't post my mama up. I'm sorry. Yeah, you said Anthony no Black was all okay. Area. Don't get me wrong. I like Anthony Black. I ain't got no disrespect for Anthony Black. I like well, the way he run the court. Me. But Anthony Black, if I need a bucket, Anthony Black ain't getting me a bucket. And mm. you know I ain't lying. He's the point guard that can set the play to get the player the ball to get the bucket, Man, though. He's the 22, the 2024 version of Magic Johnson. That's all he is. <laughs> Well, that's a great version. I, that, that's that's phenomenal. They are who we thought they were. We done with the nineties. We done with the nineties, man. <laughs> no, no, that's we done we with two thousand twenty three. We done with the nineties, man. We ain't done with the nineties. We done with two thousand twenty three. You can't be done with the nineties when we living in old glory. You better quit playing that. You are old cat up and disrespecting our era. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me read my super chat. I think Moody and Nick Smith both was good basketball players. They just didn't produce like we wanted them to at Arkansas. I'll take Ricky Council the fourth and JD Note over Moody and Nick Smith Jr. Big facts. Big facts. facts. Why are we saying that Moody didn't produce when he was the SEC freshman of the year? Now I can understand about Nick Smith and his injuries, but to say that Moody didn't produce like we wanted him to, the man averaged 17 points a game. He was the leading scorer on the team, and he was the SEC freshman of the year. And the team was on the first team to get us to the Elite Eight in 23 years. Come on, guys, y'all gotta stop living in disillusion. Seriously, like for real, for real. But where was he at when we needed him? <laughs> Hey man, I, got another super, I got another super chat, man, for my guy, the resident statistician. We got Moon the in the building. Hey, we appreciate you and Jeremiah supporting the channel, man, 100%. He says, getting to the free throw line is a skill. Moses is a better all-around player. J.D. Note barely shot 30% from three his last year. Hold up. Hold up. Stop the press. Stop the press. <laughs> Stop the press. I, Moon. <laughs> They Moon. owe OD Dome tonight. Moon. <laughs> now, he the Let resident me. statistician, though, so he he know the stats now. Moon. Let me hear you. He resident, hey, resident statistician. I want to hear when you. you when you need a bucket, up. I don't care about them stats. When you need a bucket, who you giving the ball to? Moses Moody or J.D. Note or Ricky Council or Nick Smith Jr.? 
Or oh, what's the other last dude we gonna put in there? Who else? Give me Black. five. Give me one more. Anthony Black. Anthony, Anthony Black. Black. Who you giving the ball to? I want to know. I'm Around the horn. Who you giving the ball to? Oh, you the might dogs. be right. Well, you might be right. I, you I know I'm right. Because you know JD coming That's through right. with a bucket. A bucket hooping yeah. the horn. Or a three. Or he going to snatch your He going to take your cookies. And he going to lay them up in you. Boy, JD, no tables picking cookies at, at, at half court. I ain't never seen your boy Ricky Council or any of other dudes get a, you snatch cookies and, and, and get a bucket or come down and get a three. Y'all want to talk about, oh, he, he only shot 30%. He shot 100% when we needed a bucket. <laughs> OD going in. Y'all done, y'all done turned them on. <laughs> Oh, D hey, like five, five oh one. Hey, hey, eat the cake, anime. He said, "I'm convinced that OD gotta be related to JD." No, <laughs> hey, man, hey, I'm letting, hey, I'm letting him cook. He cooking. He cooking. Nah, hey. nah, nah. OD, I ain't gonna lie. You got a point though, because I gotta go to my sources. Boy, you said no, hey, the best guard under muscle. And that's kind of crazy, but that might be true. I got to ask a couple, ask around a couple. Yeah, you might be right, though, boy. <laughs> I mean, there, there honest, are no other ones. I mean, J.D. Note is the best point guard we've ever had in the Musselman era in the last five years. Based, based on what they did at Arkansas. Let's just say that. Based on what they did at Arkansas. I'll, I'll, even, I'll even be as bold to say he's the best point guard we've had in the last 10 years. I mean, mm. the team before that wasn't so great. Yeah, because we had Pell Free, and I mean, he's the best point guard since Akeem Re- hey, uh, K- Reed. What's his name? Hey, What's his first name? Kareem, Kareem Reed. Kareem Reed. He ain't better. Hey, he ain't better than Jalen Barford, and he ain't better than Lil Durrell, bro. Hold on, slow down. Hey, he ain't hey, oh, Darren Maker was not a point guard. Darren Maker was no point. He's not a point guard. I thought you were just talking about just guards, and just guards, period. I, I no, Darren Macon was my dog. I love Darren Macon, man. That's my dude. I, I rock with Darren. And, and Barford. Barford, too. Don't do that. Yeah, Barford was nice. He was nice. Barford but he was, dude. I man, he just, I don't know. He just never, he never fulfilled. Yeah. Barford no, they, we, we didn't have enough size. We didn't have enough size with those teams. Barford, Barford was nasty. It was, boy, who was the other guard with him? It was Barford and, um, Ladera, Macon. Yeah, yeah Macon, them, Macon and Barford, them two was the ballers, but I think I think down low we were deficient. That's what the issue was. If we had some consistent big mean? man help, we, we would have been a better team. We had big team. boy on that team. Uh, uh, play for the Mavericks now. Uh, uh, play for uh, yeah, that's one player, though. We needed, more than, we needed more than one big post guy. He was the yeah. only post guy. Gafford didn't play with Barford. Daniel yeah. Gafford. Yeah, yeah. Right, Dan, he, he, he didn't play with them? No, no, no. Daniel Gafford was after Barford. And, um, what's, and I could have swore he played with them. I think he Boy. did his freshman year. He did. I think he did play I with I think them. his freshman year, he was with them on their last year. His freshman year. <clears throat> so you're done with your oh, 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 Are you done with your movie tonight? Now? Are you done? <laughs> Hey. Oh, you got me, boy. You ain't. Hey, box can never do that. You got me, boy. Box can never. Hey, salute to you, boy. Box can never stomp me, boy. You say no, take the hardest with muscle. And hey, he, he is, That's bro. That's crazy. Hey, might not be lying. He, uh, it's a, it's no <laughs> fact. It's, it's, it's all, it's all facts, man. JD Note was the dog, man. Uh, he was, dog. he was the heart and soul of them. He was. He ended up yeah. becoming the heart and soul of the team. No doubt about it. Listen, I'm going to give J.D. Note. He didn't always hit his shots, but he hit them when we needed him to. So yeah. he balled out. He salute yeah, to that. But you don't got a dog out movie to big like up the big up J.D. Note, though. Okay. Look here, man. Mm. You, 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 you forced my hand. You can't talk about J.D. Note, man. I'm hand. telling you. Oh, I didn't I talk. Mean, I didn't. No, no, no. You. No, you bigged up J.D. Note to slander Moody. That's what the difference. That's why I had to come out. I had to come at J.D. Note a little bit just because you was using him to slander Moody. That's why we got here. Don't shake your head in the prune juice lips. That's what happened. <laughs> hey, uh, if J.D. Note had been on last year's team, chip. We would have got a chip. We would have got a chip I mean, last year. What, what, it was going to be chocolate? What was it, chocolate or oatmeal <laughs> raisin? We would have got a chip last year. Oatmeal uh, raisin and chocolate. If Lil Nick wanted her, we would have got a chill. What you mean? Oh, man. Come that on, man. Nick's... <laughs> man, get... matter, bro. man, don't even get me started talking about Nick bro, Smith Jr., man. Matter, bro. I ain't oh, even going to go there tonight, man. You Shout out to Nick Smith Jr., man. We're going to leave him alone. Bro. 
BJ Young, here you go. Yeah. That's that young, that's go Deezy stuff. Talk about some BJ yes, Young. Sir. That boy big trash. Oh, no, don't do BJ like that. No, sir. Hey, he was trash. He, he was trash. Nah, BJ Young nah, was, nah, was, was not trash. trash. Eggnog, no, no, sir. Nah, no, I mean, get that we, we, we need to. We need another one thing B.J. Read. Young ever done. Nima said I smoked the blunt with B.J. Young. Man, what you talking about, man? <laughs> hey, I believe wow. it. Wow. I believe it. Was that after he was done playing or while he was playing? <laughs> probably while he was playing. Yeah, probably while. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, man. Yeah. Don't cold, bro. Don't do B.J. like that. BJ I know. Y'all dirty. <laughs> Oh my God! I, I didn't say it. I'm just showing. I'm just calling out the comments, right, man. Nah, I see. Oh yeah, listen. Was cold, hold up, man. hold on one second. I, I want. I want to make an announcement. Shout out to the Arkansas Razorback baseball team by getting the win today, one to zero. Great pitching performance by Hagen Smith. Another uh, almost double digit strikeout game. They are continuing to win. Number one, the baseball hogs save our season in misery because you're gonna force these guys. If you going to know, Arkansas baseball. If y'all keep playing like y'all playing. You're gonna force these guys to talk about you because y'all playing good ball. Hey man, you know I still got the PTSD from that drop routine fly ball. So until they get to the to the fall classic and and make some real noise, man, all these is just these just games to me. Yeah, these yeah. are games that lead you to that. But listen, I know you got PTSD. We all have PTSD. That's part of our problem. That's why we be acting crazy. That's why I be OD be <laughs> acting all loose with it because we got PTSD. It's like we got we went through we got bomb shock. Like we got hit with bombs and we live, but we right. walk walking around with with shock. Like what happened? Yeah. So yeah. So uh, in, in that in that standpoint, man, you know, uh, I I mean I like the game, but it's early in the year for me to get tuned in to baseball. Yeah. Well, I'm just tuning in because they're performing, and they're performing facts. at a very high level right now. That's facts. I, I mean, I ain't going to hold them, man. I'm, I'm glad that the Razorbacks actually got one of their big three doing something. Man, but, I Basically. mean, I, I just don't watch baseball, man. I'm sorry. I just don't. I I thought I was going to do baseball this year, but I was like, I tried the first game, and I was just like, man, it's jumping. I keep saying it. It's just so boring, man. I can't watch it, bro. The highlights. I'm not sitting here watching the baseball games like that. I'm checking on highlights. I catch a little, you know, I get I get the details that I need to be informed. But I'm not sitting here watching entire games like that. I don't even do that with Yankees and Red Sox rivalry anymore. You know, and I used to do that man. faithfully. I mean, mm. the score was 1-0. How many highlights can it be? <laughs> Strikes. Strikeout highlights. Mm. Strikeouts. Strike yeah. I mean, That's what kind of show, what kind of show we have? Hey, did you see Mason Jones hit him with that curveball? Set him down. I mean, come on. I don't want to talk about that. I'm just Gee, using Mason Jones because I don't know any he don't, baseball players. He don't know players. no players. That's yeah, I don't, know, I don't know one of them. Yeah, yeah, I know the team. The person who hit the home run, he's from Hawaii. Aloha. Shout out to him. He hit a home run in, I think, the third inning. See, I, see, I do not watch any games, but I'm in tune. Just be in tune. That's all you got to do is be in tune. Instead of being in tune to throw shade on Moody, you know what I mean? Hey, man, he cool down. Boy. Quit fanning the flame. I, 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 I'm done with, with Moody. Man. Hey, man. Hey, done. Are you done with the 90s, though? But I'm are you done with, done with the 90s? Because his game is from the 90s. Bro. He can only go you right. <laughs> See, can only go you had right, to throw man. the pot shot in. Why you had to throw the shot in? <laughs> he can only, he can only go right, man. He can't go left. We done with the 90s. done with the 90s. <laughs> nah, we're done with 2023. I'm definitely not done with the 90s. The 90s was a phenomenal hey, hey, time. OD, OD, man, you can't base a lot of your stuff out what them boys doing in the NBA, too, man. Cause no well, he be doing that. He doing that. He doing that for hold shade on, purposes. Hold on, hold on, boys. Hold on, boys. You hear me? Cause you be basing a lot of them boys' stats like what they did in the league and stuff, bro. But you gotta think, no Tay ain't even in the league. So who was there to say no Tay average four points in the league? He probably would. Probably wouldn't if he would, he'd be there. What you mean? No, I said he probably <laughs> would. <laughs> I'm just saying he probably would. Hey man, he y'all shout out. Hey, shout out to Melo because he he waited ten minutes to think of that that little comeback for you. OT. <laughs> he, he waited ten minutes. He, he, he got that yeah, together he, for ten minutes. He was I, like, he wait a minute, unbiased. Let me get this shot off. <laughs> Man, they, All right, back they, to work I go. I just had to come talk some junk to y'all. I love you, brothers, man. Y'all be blessed. Hey, you know, I'm a look at, if you say something crazy, I'm gonna be on your head in the chat and you better you better uh put my comment up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, bye. <laughs>
All right, man. Salute hey. y'all boys, man. Tap in with All right, bro. Hey, you All have right, a good one, man. So let me go back to my, hey. my four gun salute here. All right, bet. While, while I was talking, now. while I was talking crap about you, OD, about your battery, I'm in the middle of talking. My battery died on me. Oh, my <laughs> look, oh, look at you. <laughs> hey, man. That's they on my head in the comments, like man. They said, OD, we way off. They on my head in the comments, man. Oh, uh, they on Hey, OD, they on you tonight. Yeah, they're they not giving you no, no leeway. I don't know why they hate they where they hate no uh, JD Note like this, man. Because when when JD Note went into Kentucky and he dropped them boys off, yeah, I bet y'all was oh 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 JD Note he's he's great. You right? Because JD Note was a he was a big game baller. That's what JD Note was. I don't care what y'all say about him being thirty percent. I don't care about none of that. What I know is when JD Note stepped on that court, we about to get a dub. We about to get a dub. That's what I do know. Now I saw a comment. I caused. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Now, I saw a comment on here earlier when I had stepped off. Somebody said that Moody was a, a good regular season player and Note was a good tournament player. Any thoughts? Mm, um, I let somebody else cook on that because. Honestly, yeah. when I when I try to pull up JD's stats on the university website, they don't even show my boy no love. He ain't got no stats on here. They just got all his Dang. They got all his accolades on here. They just talk about like what he did. They don't really have like Mo Moses Moody had. They had every game he played. Yeah, and that's mm. the thing like it's it's that dog. That's why I sang the song when they said that. I was like, "Where was he at when we needed him?" Is, is <laughs> when we need you, is that when is that when you gonna ball? Like, yeah, if you went crazy in the SEC, congrats. But if you go crazy in a tournament, we remember that forever. That's the reason we talking about Devo. Uh huh. J JD Note, I can say this: the last year in the NBA, uh, in in against in Arkansas, he averaged eighteen points a game, mm. two point three steals, three point seven assists. 4.6 rebounds. Shot 40% from the line. field. The year before that, he only averaged 12.8. That's the first year he came. Hey, y'all tripping on JD. He never... He, the first two years, he didn't play here, but he averaged 15.4 points and 15.5. Where did he come from again? Some school car. I think he played Jacksonville or something like that. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> I was definitely a fan of JD, man. Boy, yeah, absolutely. Hey. Yeah, I was too. Tonight. I mean, I mean, JD was one of my that women players. Uh, well, man, I ain't gonna hold us up, man. We've been on for an hour and forty five, man. You know how we like to get in, get out. Uh. Stick move. This is about, about the right time to call it a night. Another great show, man. Thank everybody for Super Chat. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like button uh, before you get up out of here. Uh, and we will see you guys next Saturday. DZ, you got anything you want to say to him? Hey, man. Woo pig. Hey, shout out to Baseball Hogs. I hate that I don't watch y'all. I just can't. But we love everything you're doing, man. Shout out to all the fans. Hit that like button on your way out. You know what we do. Hey, G. Yeah, make sure you hit that like button, everybody, because it's it's all about support. Yeah, yes, facts, sir. facts. G, take us out of here, baby. <laughs> Yo, it's your boy G Holmes in the building, aka Big Sexy. Oh, oh my God. And look here, man. We appreciate everybody kicking it with us. But what we really want you guys to do is to experience peace of mind with Insurance Max. They are your one-stop shop for home auto, and commercial insurance all over the state. Don't wait. Call today for a free, no-obligation quote. Hey, man, you guys can secure your future with Insurance Max. Give Wes, Caleb, and Sandy a call. Hey, man, because it's where protection meets affordability. That number is 870-534-2823. Again, that number is 870-534-2823, and you guys can safeguard what matters the most. 
again, the OGs, man, 3M Electric. We love them. They are your trusted electrical contractor serving Northwest Arkansas. These guys do both commercial and residential electrical contracting. And they are an SDVOSB. You know what that is? That's a service disabled veteran owned small business. No job is too big or too small because these guys are both reliable and dependable. So for all of your electrical needs, give 3M Electric a call. That number is 479-408-9865. Again, it's 479-408-9865. And when you call our sponsors, you make sure you let them know that the boys over here at the Wool Pig Podcast sent you, and they got something special for you. Thank you to 3M Electric and Insurance Smacks. Yo, like I've been telling you guys, we coming up on the hill on uh, April the 13th, man. We're going to be up there uh, that weekend, that Friday. We've had some suggestions in here about where we're going to go kick it at. Uh, and I, I will let you guys know because I'm going to be up on the hill the weekend before that. And uh, I'm going to make sure we have some place to come and kick it with our family and our, and our friends, man. And just, you know, come drink a beer with us, man. Get in tune because it's going to be a great game uh, on Saturday. And also... Um, August the 31st, we're going to be down here in Little Rock at War Memorial Stadium tailgating. We're going to have our sponsors out there, uh, 3M Electric and uh, uh, Insurance Max. So you guys come out and meet the, meet the sponsors, man. We're going to be doing something special for all of our fans, all of our supporters. We're going to be just kicking it, man. We're going to be playing dominoes, spades. I mean, kicking it. I mean, we're just going to be having a good time. It's like a family affair. So we, you guys are our family, and we appreciate everything that you guys do for us. So with that being said, man, you know what your boy Big Sexy like to say. Yo, I said what I said. And oh, we are. Podcast family, I have one simple question for you today. Why haven't you called me? If you're trying to protect your home, your auto, your motorcycle, your boat, your side-by-side, -side, or more importantly, your business, how do you know you're not paying too much for your insurance? Give me a call today, 870-534-2823. And lastly, continue to support the Woo Pig Podcast. Yeah, it's the 501, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we get down on the Woo Pig Podcast? Woo! Shout out OD, shout out G Holmes, it's the baby. Big sexy, do it! Woo! Yeah! yeah. Woo! Yeah! yeah.